Hello guys, welcome to my channel. If you're just joining us, you're welcome. My name is Mo King. I'm a videographer slash video editor. In this tutorial, I'm going to be explaining the Premiere Pro layout, the Premiere Pro interface and their panels. So before we dive into this tutorial, can you subscribe to my YouTube channel if you've not already done that? One of the perks is a free shout out from me. So shout out to Comfort Palace, you're my very first MVP. Thank you for your support. I always do a random shout out from my subscribers. So if you want to be mentioned for my next video, subscribe now. Now let's move right into the tutorial. Today I'm going to be explaining the basic overview of the Premiere Pro layout. So this on screen is more or less what you see when you first of all load your Premiere Pro. The only variation is that I have projects here that I have worked on but for you here should be a text that says welcome and create project. So let's dive right into the tutorial, I'll just click on new project. The first thing you want to do is create a name for your project. The reason why you need to do this is so that in the future when you have so many projects that you have worked on and you are looking for a, a particular project, it will be easier for you to identify that specific project. So I'll just go ahead and name this uh, basic overview of the Premiere Pro layout. The next thing you want to do is you want to change the location where you want your project to be saved. Now Premiere Pro by default saves your project in your control panel that is on your PC. But you don't want that to happen because over time when you've saved a lot of projects on your PC, your PC can begin to lag and become slow. So you want to select your hard drive and not your local disk. The next thing you want to do in your hard drive is you want to create a folder where you want Adobe Premiere Pro to drop the preview files for this project. So I'll go ahead and create a folder here. Create a folder, write new folder and name it um, basic overview of the Premiere Pro layout. So I select this and I click select folder. So what this does is Premiere Pro recognizes that I want every file, every preview file, every preview audio for this project to be saved in that folder. That way, when I'm looking for the preview files or the rendered files for this project, I just need to go on into my PC and open that folder and I'm going to find everything concerning this project stored in that folder. Now every other thing should be left as it is. Um, the video format, I don't really understand how this works so I don't mess around with it and it has always been good for me that way. So you just want to click OK. Now when everything loads up, this should be pretty much what you see. The only variation is that you would be directed to the learning tab here and not the editing tab but that's okay you can always come here and click on the editing tab and switch to the editing tab but i will also advise that you go ahead to take the practical tags that are here in the learning tab for beginners uh, because they go a long way in guiding you through the adobe premiere pro interface so this right here is the basic adobe premiere pro layout so the learning tab here is where you come to when you are a beginner, you come, you click um, preview, you click on the get started here and then you have a couple of tutorials here, you have a video to play with to understand Premiere Pro, you have files here, you have tasks that you, you can read them to understand, then you can click on next and all of that. But we will not go into that, you can go into that much later. So when you have a lot of files and you want to edit and you need to be able to see and preview your files, you click on the assembly. I like this interface. It works a lot when you're trying to um, select from a bunch of clips that are much here. Um, but when you want to edit, I also prefer to use the editing tab. So this is our project panel, it's also where you see your files. Um, the timeline is where you edit your videos, cut, we add clips, we add sounds, we edit over here. So here we have the source monitor, 
that is where you can click to preview your videos and here is where you view your videos while you are editing them um, we also have the effects control this is where we apply effects in Premiere Pro we can scale, we can resize, we can rotate, whatever we want to do we do it over here in the effects control panel so the color panel here is where we add color to our clips we have so many effects here you can add color to clips you can play with it as you like uh, we can tint our clips do whatever it is we like in the color panel the effects panel is a very large library under the effects panel we can um, apply audio transitions video effects video transitions audio effects biometric presets presets essential graphics is a huge library we're not going to go into that now because it's just an overview then we also have the audio tab um, the audio tab is where we mess with the audio of our vid of our clips we, we edit the audios here in the audio tab uh, but I don't really go into that because there are other panels where we can edit our audio from we can also edit the dialogues that's the conversations um, the graphics panel is where we add graphics we have a lot of graphics pre-installed graphics here from Premiere Pro we can add titles and subtitles there are a lot of graphics here that we can add and then the library is where we can download stuff from Adobe Premiere Pro Cloud online and so we also have the access of seeing our own library of files that we have imported here. So back to editing. One thing you need to know about the Adobe Premiere Pro interface is that the panels can be resized. You can undock a panel and move it. For example, if I want to move this um, effects panel here, I can right click and undock it. I'll have the, ab the ability to move it to any position where I want it to be. So if you're looking for any panel, you can come over here to Windows, scroll down to that effect and click on effects you can also right click to close the panel another thing you need to know that is that if you have messed with your panel and you're trying to rearrange it you can also come you can always come back to windows go to workspace and click on reset to saved layout that way it automatically resets itself back to the initial state in which um, premiere pro had designed for it to be so basically guys, that's the basic overview of the Premiere Pro layout. So if you like this video, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the like button. Um, don't forget to drop your comment in the comment section. I'll be sure to respond to every single one of them. Once again, my name is Mo King. Thank you for watching this video.